So the Most High said, look, if we keep his commandments, he going to set us high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings going to come upon us. But, give me verse 14, 15, read. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. But if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe to do all his commandments. If you don't do his commandments, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the most I said, we disobey him, all these curses going to come upon us and overtake us. So now I'm going to show you something about these curses. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Let me show you something about these curses. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and shall overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which I command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So now, if you want to identify the children of Israel today, you know how we're going to identify the children of Israel? Through these curses that's on them. Now, another word for curse is evil thing. The white man like to say, oh man, black skin is a curse. Or we curse because our skin bad. No, evil things constantly happen to our people because we broke the commandments of God. Let me show you some signs that identify who the Israelites are. Do that in 28 and 32. Listen to this and you tell me if you fit the identity of this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It said thy sons and daughters shall be given to another people. Do your spirit bear witness with that? Who our sons and daughters was given to? What people was that? The who? Say it again. Say it again, sister. Say it again. Who our people was given to? In slavery. Read that again, white people. Read that again. Now look, I know, look, I'm gonna tell you something, man. For some reason, we can say nigga. We can, we can, we can uh, use all type of profane words, but when it just comes to just saying white people, it's uh, for some reason our people got a problem with it. And that's because they instill their fear in us. And it ain't, no, it, it ain't no reason for us to fear them. The only person we should fear is God because the only reason why they was able to overtake us and overcome us because we disobeyed the command, commandments of God. Right. Read that again. Listen to this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The scripture said thy sons and daughters shall be given to another people. Our sons and daughters was given to the white man over here. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All we could do was cry. You seen uh, 12 Years a Slave? You seen Roots, right? Remember when they took uh, Kenzie from Kuta Kente? What Kuta Kente and his wife did? All they could do was cry. Why? Because he said, what, well, Bree? Thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Because we didn't have no might. We didn't have no type of power to get our sons and daughters back. Now I'm gonna ask you something, sis. Sister, what type of transportation uh, was, was used to bring us over here? Huh? A boat. A ship. A ship. Now look, listen to this. Do that between 8 and 6 and 8. Listen. I'm going to show you the slave ships in the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now Egypt is a Greek word for bondage. God was going to bring us into slavery again with what? With ships. How God was going to bring us into slavery? With ships. Who are we coming to slavery with what? The, how are we coming to slavery with what? With ships. The Bible says the same thing. Do you identify with that? That means you're Israelite according to the Bible, sister. And you got to repent and keep the commandments of God. Now look, read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So Moses told us if we break God's commandments, we're going to come into Egypt again or come into bondage again with ships. We came into slavery by the way a cargo slave ship. Right. Pack down like sardines. Pack down like sardines, read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And he said you're going to see it no more again. You wasn't going to see what no more again. See your homeland. See Jerusalem no more again, read. And there you shall be sold. And he said look when you get to that other land he said, you're going to be sold. Who, what nation of people you know that was sold? What nation of people was sold as a possession? What nation of people was sold to work in cotton fields? Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen. For bondmen, for slave men, read. And bondwomen. And slave women. 
You were sold for a possession to work in fields to pick cotton. You were sold for a possession to uh, chuck corn, to build these houses, to work in these plantations, Reed. And no man shall buy you. And no man was going to be able to buy you back out of your captivity. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. You know? These signs that identify who the Israelites are today. How many of our people want to know what you got to do to get the kingdom of heaven? How many of our people want to change the conditions that we in? How many of our people want a solution for the problems that plague our communities? Because every time we come out here, it's like it going one ear and out the other. It's like y'all don't listen. You hear it, but you ain't listening, though. That's why the majority of our people got to die. Today is the day of atonement. The one day out of the year that the most high God get us, give us to atone for our sins. Give me that to do that. Look at that. Ah. Uh, right there. Hey, where you at? Y'all all right? Is y'all all right? Y'all need to get out that car. Hey, let's move it out. Get out that car. They probably can't get up out the car. Get him out, to the most high that nobody to get hurt. All praise. But the word gotta continue to go on. Okay, all praise to the most high that nobody to get hurt. All praise. But the word gotta continue to go on. Today is the day of atonement. This is the one day of the year that the most high get the Israelites to atone for their sins. The one year that the most high give us to atone for our sins. Give me Leviticus chapter 23. You know what I want. Leviticus chapter 23. I'll pray to the Most High that nobody didn't get hurt. It's time for our people to wake up, man. These things happen to us because we are not keeping the commandments of God. Today is the Sabbath day, believe it or not. Today is the Sabbath day. It's no buying, no selling, no working, no cooking. Everybody's supposed to actually be a bind in their place. If that commandment was applied, the accident wouldn't happen out here right now. But we're going to deal with the day of atonement. Listen to this, Rick. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 27. Also on the tenth day of this seventh month. Hey, this is the tenth day of the seventh month. And that's the problem with our people too, man. The word of God out here coming out, but this is the type of stuff that attract our people right here. Oh, the car wreck. Let's get around and watch the car wreck. Bring it out. This is the type of stuff that our, it's, like our, it's like in our communities we love violence. Or we love to see somebody in pain. Or we love to see somebody afflicted. It's crazy as hell. This, this corner was just, it wasn't just nobody on this corner. But look at the corner now. Why? Because them the type of things we like. We love chaos. That's, all. That's why the most high gonna declare order out of chaos. The most hey, this place ain't gonna be set into order until the most high destroy. Right. Read what you got. Leviticus 23 and verse 27. Also on the tenth day of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. God said the tenth day of the seventh month. Believe it or not, this is the seventh month of the year according to God. This is the seventh day of the tenth month of the year according to God. He said it should be a day of atonement. 
This the one day of the year that the Most High get us to atone for all our sins that we committed. One day out of the year that the Most High get us to make peace for all our sins that we committed throughout the year. Read. It shall be a holy convocation. It's supposed to be a holy convocation. A holy convocation is a holy gathering. The Most High said, look, on my day, on my day of atonement, I want you to gather. I want you to come together in a holy convocation. Read. And you hear that, bro, talking about, oh, man, you talking about that preaching stuff. You can't do nothing for them just like we can't do nothing for them. But our people gonna hear the word of God, though. That's right. We, a wise yeah. man, understand that was judgment from God. If we was keeping the commandments of God, he wouldn't be in the condition that he is right now. That's right. Time for y'all to wake the hell up. That's why you see Adrian Crutcher get shot down. That's why you see Castillo Castro get shot down. Why? Because our people refuse to keep the commandments of God, and you got the nerve to sit up here to chastise the prophets when the brothers was helping them get out the car. Bring it out. For real though, you got the nerve to chastise us when we was helping them get out the car. That's Don't right. worry about us preaching out here right now. You can't do a damn thing that you're going to put them in your truck and run them to the hospital. Right. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all know y'all always talk smack, but you never come with a damn solution. You always talking. Bring it out. Bring it out. For real though, you always talking, but you never got a solution. That's and right. you claim to be Christian, but you hate God. Give me five verse, John 5 and 3. Bring it out. You know, like the day is a high holy day, but none of y'all don't know it's a high holy day today. But your ass will celebrate the hell out of the 4th of July. Bring it out. When 1776, you was enslaved. You gonna celebrate the hell out of Christmas when Christmas don't got nothing to do with Christ. Right, that's right. But you got the nerve to sit up there and talk that smack and chastise us when we was the first ones happy. When the men of the Lord was on the first ones on the scene trying to pull them up out the car. That's right. When they explode. So shut the hell up out here. Read what you got. Bring it out. Read. Bring it out. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. The scripture say this is the love of God. Y'all claim to love God, you claim to be, you ain't no Christian, you pretend to be a Christian. This is the love of God that we want. That we keep his commandments. This is the love of God that we keep his commandments. If you love God, you gonna do what God tells you to do. Give me that in some rock 2 and 15. Bring it out. Bring it out. That's why you gonna constantly, that's why bad things gonna constantly happen to our people. It's gonna keep happening. Because you will not keep the commandments of God. Give me some rock, chapter 2, verse 15. Tell five people to wake up and repent. They over there praying. Read. Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 15. They that fear the Lord. They say, they that fear the Lord. They that fear the Lord. If you fear the Lord, read. Will not disobey his word. If you fear God, you won't disobey his word. But our people constantly disobey the word of God. Why? Because you don't fear God. Read. And they that love him will keep his way. And it says, they that love him will keep his way. If you fear God, you will disobey his word and you will keep his way. A wise man understand that's judgment coming from the most high God. Bring it out. When you don't keep God's commandments, God judges you for not keeping his command. Bring it out. Give me Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it out. Now you got these folks on the street praying out here. God don't hear your prayer. Give me John chapter 9, verse 31. Bring it out. Yeah. It's the day of atonement. God don't hear your prayers. I'm telling you the truth. Give me John 9. I don't care how you feel. Give me John 9, verse 31. Bring it out. John chapter 9, verse 31. This what the this what the Holy Bible say. The Bible say God don't hear your prayers. Read. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Scripture say God don't hear sinners. God don't hear sinners. What is a sinner? Give me 1 John 3 and 4. Bring it out, huh? Let me tell you what a sinner here. God ain't hearing your prayer. You in the midst of sin. You breaking his high holy day right now. Right. You breaking his high setting. The most I don't keep afflicting you is the life till you repent. Read. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. It said whosoever committed sin. This the meaning of sin right here. Whosoever committed sin, read. Transgressive. Also the law. The scripture say transgressive also the law. We? For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking and violate of God's law. That's right. And the kill yeah. part about it, everybody wanna stand around, but nobody can help but the uh people that they but the uh Everland. 
That's the problem with y'all. Y'all wise to do evil. You want to miss ship. That's what the scriptures say about y'all. For real, though. Time for y'all to wake up, man. God said, read that one. Let me show you what's in here. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. The scripture say, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking and violation of God's law. God don't hurt no sinners. Right. Go right back to John 9 verse 31. Look it out. Go right back to John 9 verse 31. God don't hear your song. God ain't hearing your prayers. He ain't listening to you. Look it out. Read what you got. John chapter 9 verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. I read this what the Bible say. The Bible say we know that God don't hear sinners. God don't hear those that's breaking his law. Today's the day of atonement. Today's the day of atonement. There was a high holy day set up by the most high for you to like to atone and repent of your sins. Well, what's going on? Okay. Read that one. Okay. Read that one. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. God don't hear sinners. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God, you're gonna be a worshiper of God. You're gonna call yourself a worshiper of God, Reed. And doeth his will. You gotta be doing his will, Reed. Him he heareth. That is the will of God. Give me Psalm 40, verse 8. God ain't hearing. Bring no it God. out. Bring it out. You gotta do the will of God if you want the most high to respond to your prayer. That's the first thing y'all call for. Us. Oh Lord, oh Lord. But don't keep command of one. Bring it out. Give me Bring Psalm it out, 40, verse 8. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. Read what you get. I delight to do thy will. He said, I delight to do thy will. Oh my this, God. This is the will of God right here. I delight to do thy will. Read. Oh my God. Oh my God. Read. Yea, thy law. He is, said, Thy what? Thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Thy what? Thy law. He said, Thy law is within my heart. The will of God is his law. The will of God is his law. Tell for y'all to wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God the day of the day of atonement. The day of the day of atonement. Nobody ain't come up and say, hey, what's the day of atonement? Nobody ain't asked us. You don't care about the will of God. But you wanna, you think you can call on God and he don't help God ain't answer y'all prayer. That's why give me all say about it this day. I'm saying yeah. the truth. Everything I'm saying is biblical. I don't care about how anybody feels out here right now. For real though, if you don't want to hear it, shut your ear. But we was out here first. This is what we're about in 15. Ho Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. This is what the Most High God said. God said, look, I'm going to go and return to my place. Bring it out. God said, I'm going to go and return to my place. I'm going to chill in the third heaven, Reed. Till they acknowledge their offense. God wants you to acknowledge your sins. He wants you to acknowledge your offense. God gave you commandments to keep it. You break every last one of them. You eat unclean food. Right. You eat shrimp, right. pork, and lobster. You commit fornication. You commit adultery. Right. Yeah, you have sex out of wedlock. A lot of you men, whoremongers and pimps. Bring it out, you done had sex with multiple women in your life. You done got women pregnant and don't take care of the kids. Bring it out. A lot of women and whore themselves out. You done had sex with more than one man. For real, one pass, press in properly, showing the shape of your body off. Read that again. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said, look, I'm going to go and return to my place. I'm going back to the third of heaven, Till they acknowledge their offense. Until you acknowledge your offense. Until you acknowledge what you did against God. God wants you to acknowledge something, Negro. That's, right. that's why so that's why one of y'all gonna be the next Adrian Crutcher. Bring it out! Why? Because you will not acknowledge your fix. Bring it out! That's why one of y'all gonna be the next Mike Brown. The next Sandra Bland. Why? Because you will not acknowledge your fix. Read. And seek my face. And seek the most high face. You ain't seeking after the most high God. You ain't trying to keep his commandments. Read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. He said, the affliction. And the affliction. God said, I got to afflict you for you to seek me. Bring it out. God said, I 
I gotta flick you for you to see me. I'm gonna show you what I'm flicking you with. Give me dude on the Twitter at 16 now. Get out of here. But y'all claim to be Christians though, right? You say you love the Lord, don't you? But we read the Bible right now, and you really don't love the Lord. You know what 28 and 16 read? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall be, shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Who populate the worst communities in the city? Who was, who, who was forced to work on slave plantations in the field?
And you shall afflict your soul. God said you're supposed to afflict your soul. Everybody of black, Hispanic, and Native American descent. Everybody of Israelite or six wants to be fasted today. Right. That means no food, no water for a whole day straight. No food, no water for 24 hours. How many of y'all been cooking? How many of y'all been eating? How many of y'all been buying? How many of y'all been selling? How many of y'all been working? Everybody's supposed to be fasted today. Really? And you shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do no work in that same day. God said we're not supposed to be working the day for the day of atonement. If, if, if we were keeping the commandments of God, this wouldn't even be going on right now. That's right. If our people were keeping the commandments of God, we wouldn't even be out to deal with this right now, right? For it is a day of atonement. Today is the day of atonement. Today is the, atonement. the day to atone for your sins and make peace with the Most High God. If we was keeping the day of atonement as commanded by the Lord, we would not be out here in this predicament, in this situation right now. Really? And I love y'all to wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God. Right? To make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whosoever, for whatsoever soul it be. God said, for whatsoever soul, here's a judgment for not keeping the day of atonement. God said, for whatsoever soul that be in that day, right? It's, it be that shall not be afflicted in the same day. Everybody that don't afflict their soul today, right? He shall be cut off from amongst his people. God said you're going to be judged if you don't afflict your soul today. A lot of people going to get their judgment today. Why? Because you're breaking the laws of God. You're breaking the commandments. Right. 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 And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. God said if you broke on this day, if you break this set, if you break this Sabbath, he said he's gonna destroy you from among the people. He's gonna bring forth wrath upon you. Give me Matthew 26 and 6. The day is the day of atonement. Y'all better look it up and learn about it. Now give me Second Chronicles 20 and 20. One more scripture. Listen to this, right? Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. Yeah, believe in the Lord your God. Who the prophet? Believe in the Lord your God, Reed. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. It said, believe who? His prophets. God telling you. Because you so-called Negro, you descend from the Jews. God said, believe his prophets. Read. So shall ye prosper. And when he had... It said, if you believe his prophets, you're going to prosper. Read. And when he had consult consulted with the with the people. That's it. Yes, uh, God said, if you believe his prophets, you going to prosper. Give me back to 26 and 6. Time for y'all to wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God. We love our people. That's why we come out here. We come out here, we love our people. We come out here to warn you. Because guess what? Greater destruction is coming than this right here. Right. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.